Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. We now got part 14 of Hashit Part Works, Build the Spitfire Mark 1A. <laughs> Now in this issue we're going to be attaching the copper pipes that we had left over from issue 11 and we're going to start the cockpit. There's a couple of things I want to show you first though. First off, a lot of people noticed that uh, in the last video the uh, uh, a lead had come off, the red lead had come off the plug. Well as you can see I fixed that now and it's working absolutely perfectly there. Going around nicely. So I'll just turn that off again. Put that down and then we'll unplug it. The other thing is I'm still doing my investigations into this mount bracket at the side. Now, as you can see, I've done it now so that it's actually fitting perfectly. It's the exact dimensions it's meant to be. On my one, though, I've got a slight gap just at this side here on the bulkhead. Now, a lot of people don't have that problem. A lot of people do have that problem. Uh, I'm going to I've ordered all of this whole thing with the whole mounting here again because I've got a feeling there's a problem with some of the parts I think some people are getting right lengths uh, and some people are getting wrong and I do think that this might be uh, an issue as well I think some people are getting bent ones of these and uh, some people aren't but it's looking hell of a lot better than it was if I just take the other side off as well as you can see uh, it's looking a hundred times better than what it was so uh, that's where we are with that but when those issues come I'm gonna make a complete issue of it so if you are having problems just persevere for now we'll find out what the problem is together for that uh, talking about problems in this issue uh, just so you know we've got some screws for this issue looking like that uh, but they were some some screws sellotaped underneath the uh, uh, packet here uh, underneath let me show you underneath this packet here so uh, I'm going to be using the screws that have got the sellotape on them because I'm guessing they're a replacement. They're slightly shorter than these ones here, uh, but there's nothing in the instructions to tell me about it. So I don't know what that's uh, all about. Uh, but let me show you what we're doing. Now, as you can see, we've got parts for the cockpit here. Now, all of these parts are metal. I'll show you again, which is really good. Um, but we're going to be doing that in the second half. The first half on the first two pages is just to put the copper pipes in. That's these pipes here that we had in issue 11. We're going to put that into the engine and then they're going to go into the supercharger or the bottom of the supercharger at the back. Uh, that's basically what those two pages are. Uh, in the next page, it's going to show us how we're building the cockpit. Now, going forward on from this issue, if I show you on the back here, we're going to start putting details in for the cockpit. Now, I know a lot of subscribers are up to issue 18 now, I believe, and uh, that cockpit really does look impressive. But uh, I'm not up to that stage at the moment. In fact, this uh, issue is the last delivery that I've had so far. So I am now waiting for 15, 16, 17 and 18 and hopefully that will be coming probably in the second week of July I reckon but uh, without further ado let's get cracking okay so the first thing we want to do is take the two copper pipes that we had from issue 11 now if you notice one of them is a lot bent than the other one I'm going to use this one first the one that's bent up a lot more than the other one was uh, this is going to go onto the right hand side of the engine so if I'm holding the engine like this it's going to be going onto this side here and when we put it in it's going to be going this side here towards the pipe that you can see just there and it's going to be facing sort of like up so then that the full pipe if I hold this from the end here is going to sort of go down like that because we're going to be gluing this into place now to do that what we're going to do is feed it underneath the mount there push it into place and then we're just going to slot that end in like that I've got my tweezers here and they're going to slot the other end into the bottom of the supercharger which is really hard to show you but if you look at the picture you'll see exactly how it goes but when this is in it's going to look just like that but we do need to glue this into place so let's get the glue together for that for that I'm just using the tray that it comes in here and uh, all I do find a nice little reservoir hole probably here put some glue in there and then I've got my trusty pin vise just with a, a normal dress pin in it and I'm gonna put this into place so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll just pull this pipe back just a touch so I can drop some glue just into the hole of this pipe at the end here just like that then we'll put this pipe into place like that and then on the other side here on the supercharger down the bottom of it right at the base there's a little indent for this to go in on the other side there so once again I'm going to just drop some glue into there the pipe will actually want to guide you to where that hole is anyway so but uh, I've got that 
in there. I'm just going to push it into the hole. This bit's come out here. And there we go. And that is the first pipe in. Now on the other side, exactly the same. We're going to be putting it into that pipe there and into the bottom of the supercharger there. So what I'll do this time is I'll drop the glue in first. Just into the pipe at the end there. And once again, I'm going to feed this through exactly like we did last time. Put that end in like that into the pipe. So it's looking like that. And then the last end here is just once again going on the bottom of the supercharger. So I'll just put some glue in the spot that that's going down here. It's very hard to see. <laughs> I think the pictures are, are probably going to be the better help on this. And then I'll just put that into place like that. There's a happy medium where this goes actually. There we go. And that is the pipe in that side. So we've got that looking like that. And then the other pipe in the other side like that. Now what I'll do is if I put the sides back on here, you can see the sides don't impede anything at all. So that's one side on just like that. We'll do the same with the other side. Put that just back on like, oops, get it in properly. Just, just like that. And as you can see, that's pretty much the engine bay and bulkhead now completed. So we are now ready to start work on the cockpit. So I'll put that to one side and we'll get all the details out now for the cockpit. Now the first part we need looks just like this. Once again, this is all metal. We're gonna be putting a plate onto this. Now the plate we're gonna put on looks just like that. And as you can see, there is some details already on and that's basically gonna go into the same shaped indent just there. And this is going to be glued into place. So when we glue this into place, as you can see, we've got a rib around the middle there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spot some glue just into that rib. And I'm not doing it all over because I don't want to swamp it in glue. I want this to look pretty uh, clean inside. So I'm just dropping that glue just into points around the middle there. Just this side to go to three and then we can press that back into place just like that there we go that's into place we've got another plate here next to it with a few details on there looking like that from that side this is going to go as you can see right next to it into the hole there so we do exactly the same thing get some glue up and i'm just dabbing glue just around the inner rim of this detail here to keep that into place. I've had quite a few emails from people really frustrated by that mount for the engine. who actually, because of it, are stopping the build. But uh, personally, the joy of these models is if you have a problem, find ways to overcome it. I do find the challenge is what the biggest memories of these builds are. But there we go, that's what that looks like when it's in place. Now, the next detail looks like this. This detail is actually gonna be screwed into place. So what we wanna do is we wanna hold it this way around. So we've got this little extra bit on the side here facing inwards towards the details we just put on. It's gonna go over these two holes here and here. So what we're gonna do is line this up like this. It's pretty much how it's gonna go like that. And this is gonna be screwed in from the other side here. And I'm guessing it's gonna be using the new screws that we got given not the old ones. Now I did have a look at the old screws and the old screws seem to be a lot longer, which I don't think this part needs. So that's probably why they've been replaced. So I'll load this up and we'll screw this in, just lining it up there from this side here. Very tiny screws these are, but the PHO screwdriver uh, is working well on it. I haven't tightened this all the way up yet. I've left them quite loose because now we're gonna be extending this cockpit with this section just here. And just like last time, we're gonna be putting this over the top like that so that that little notch there fits together just like that. Then we're gonna be putting two screws into this side as well. These are these tiny, tiny ones. So I'll put the first one in. And then once these are 
in place exactly where I want them, I'll tighten them all up completely. God, I don't think you can appreciate how small these tiny screws are. Let's put this one in. Just like that, and now I can make it as tight as I possibly can. That's one, two, then the other side here, three, four. Now, as I said to you before, some people are ahead now, uh, and it really does look impressive how this cockpit looks, uh, but that's what it looks like when the screws are in. As you can see, nice and straight down there. If you look on the top camera, that's where we're up to with the details in this. So basically, just put that screw to one side. Uh, we've started the cockpit there, and obviously we've put the sides on uh, for the uh, oil pipes. I think they're oil pipes. I'm not sure what the, well, the pipes are actually going into the supercharger, so they might be uh, um, some exhaust pipe, actually. Uh, but we've put the pipes in there as well. Uh, and that, is all there is to do in this stage. So I know we're up to part 14, and uh, if you are doing this build and finding it really challenging, remember we've probably just done the hardest bit now. I can't see there being really any more fiddly bits in here. Uh, perhaps when we start doing the uh, flaps or the ailerons, uh, and perhaps some of the gears uh, for the uh, actual lifting mechanism from the base. Uh, but that was quite challenging even for me. And as you see, I did have problems with that that we're trying to overcome. Uh, but there will be another video following as soon as I get issues 2 and 11 again. We'll see what the hell's going on with those engine because something ain't right there <laughs> anyway listen i hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care